There's certain traps I can't escape You set them down and walked away So now I'm here alone just waiting Hoping that you'll come and save me But I think I gotta fix this I've been literally trying to decide what kind of bedding to pick for a bed for the entire summer and I think I finally found the one. Fingers crossed we're gonna put this duvet cover laid out on the bed and see how the color looks. Our floors are this really uh, like kind of darkish gray color and I really like warm tone things in general so I feel like this will hopefully be like the best option for this room in particular. another Instagram brand discovery. I just got this blanket in the mail. It's from the brand called Bien Mall. They make a bunch of these really cool cotton throw blankets. There's a couple of different colors of this checkered print and then they also have a little bit more like I guess like not uniform patterns. They look really cool. People put them up as like tapestries and stuff or use them as rugs and I think it looks great. This couch is definitely looking very white and this whole area in general. I still need to figure out what prints I want to put for the gallery wall above the couch. Overall, I think it just adds a nice bit of color and pattern in here. As you guys could probably tell from my channel, I've just been obsessed with green lately and I think this like nice foresty, kind of like academic colored green I would say is really nice. It's just like a really nice neutral color that adds like a lot of like richness and earthiness to a space. All right, I'm about to get ready to shower, get cleaned up and put on my skincare. And I've been meaning to show like these incremental updates to my skincare that I've been making, but it's just been hard to find the right time. And I feel like my skin was never really at a place where I felt like it was worth showing if that made sense. But I actually have a couple of blemishes that have popped up on my forehead. And I feel like now is actually a pretty good time. The first thing that I've recently changed is that I purchased this 
C8 MCT oil. If you're new to my channel or you don't usually watch my skincare videos, I've been struggling with fungal acne on and off for the past couple of years. And because of that, I pretty much just stayed away from any type of oil cleanser just because there are like so few oils that are fungal acne safe. This apparently is one of the few and I think it's basically what is recommended to use as like a first oil cleanse if that's what you want to do. So I picked this up recently. I'm not sure if I love it. I definitely still have to go with go in with something extra to remove my waterproof mascara, but I think it does a fine job of kind of just like removing that first layer. So let me put my hair up. For waterproof mascara, I'm still just using my Garnier micellar water. I've tried a couple of other um, specific waterproof eye makeup removers, but honestly, I feel like this one works just as well and you get so much more product for what you're paying for. So it's just a much better value. So I usually just use these reusable cotton rounds. The downside is that you need a lot more product to put on these, but I think it's fine. These bottles are quite large, so they last me a while. As for this oil, you get an enormous bottle. I think people typically use it for cooking. Okay, now that the mascara is off, I'm just gonna go in with the oil. I typically like to do my second cleanse in the shower. This hasn't changed at all. I'm still using the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. It's a water-based cleanser and I just like to use this in the shower. So this is gonna be kind of messy. Let me just, oh God, pump out some. It's really not my favorite product or experience for removing my makeup, but I'm hoping that it'll help make sure that I remove all the sunscreen and all the makeup that I have on my face and just kind of prevent my pores from getting clogged. Try to lightly massage it all over and then I kind of rinse it off in the sink, but um, I mostly just like to really go in with the, the second cleanse in the shower to get everything off. Okay, let me hop into the shower, wash this all off, and then I'll be right back. All right, done showering. And so the reason why I thought today would be a pretty good day to film my skincare routine is because I actually have some pit bulls going on on my forehead. Let me, hopefully you can see it a little bit better. With fungal acne, I find that the bumps are just super, super stubborn. Even though my skincare routine is pretty much fungal acne safe, there might be like some combination of ingredients or something that might trigger it still. But for the most part, I really try to stick to a fungal acne safe makeup and skincare routine. And still, I get like a little bit of texture or congestion. I don't really know what it is but some pretty stubborn bumps on my forehead mainly. And because they just stay like that for weeks on end, it's really frustrating because it seems like nothing is really happening. There's no progress being made. So to me, having some actual pimples that have come to a head is progress. And the process actually already happened to one of the bumps, but I'm pretty sure that started out as like one of these kind of just like skin colored bumps. And I've been sticking to using Stridex for the past couple of weeks, I don't know how long it's been. And again, like everything that I've been using, I didn't really see any results or anything happen for weeks at a time. But finally, in the past week or two, these bumps have been coming to a head. I was using the Paula's Choice 8% AHA Gel Exfoliant. I was kind of switching off between these two for a while. But once these pimples started to come up, I just stuck to the Stridex. And I've just been going back to some of my skincare products that are really helpful for soothing and hydration. So this I'm from Mugwort Essence. I don't know yet if this is like a must have product or anything, but I do like the experience of using it. It has more of like an herbal medicinal type of scent to it and it does feel quite calming. I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first. It's a very liquidy toner type of product and I just like to swipe it all over actually. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. And then the other product that I've been using a bunch lately, and I'm almost done with it finally, is this Coserex Propolis Light Ampule. That's what the bottle looks like. And as you can see, I'm almost done with it. I've tried a couple of Propolis serums, and I thought this one was 
pretty good. It's taken me a while to go through this. I kind of go through phases, but since I've been more aggressive with the active lately, I've been really trying to use some other products that just help build up my moisture barrier and make sure my skin is nice and hydrated. So yeah, I did like this product. I still really like Propolis products in general, but I am going to try a different one after this. I've actually already ordered the one by Wish Trend. That one's a little bit more expensive, but we'll see how I like it. So just kind of go by how my skin is feeling. I did use Stratix last night, but I think I'm gonna go in with it again because I feel like these pimples are like really close to getting to a point where I can just like put a pimple patch on them. And my skin doesn't feel too sensitive or anything right now. Oh, okay, never mind. I actually just took off the like scab, I guess, that was over this bump. So I am gonna put a pimple patch on it tonight. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because I already applied some product and pimple patches always stick better to clean, dry skin. But let me pull out my pimple patches. These are the ones that I've been using lately. They're by Next Care. And they're the only ones that I have left. I've tried the Clostrex ones and then I've also tried like a couple of the ones that have like salicylic acid or other active ingredients in them. And those are really nice too. Okay, I'm hoping that the mugwort essence and the Stridex didn't leave a residue so that this sticks. But yeah, just plop it on. Now I'm just gonna go straight into my moisturizer. I'm just gonna get most of my moisture from the moisturizer and then just lock everything in with a decent amount of the oil. And that usually keeps my skin pretty nice and moisturized. By the way, I'm using the La Roche-Posay Tolerian, Tolerian Sensitive Fluid Moisturizer. Still really liking that. I actually finished up this Indie Lee Squalane Oil. I really liked it. And after I finished that, I ended up putting some of the Ordinary Squalane Oil into this bottle because this little dropper is kind of broken. So after using each one right after another, I could definitely tell that the Indie Lee one is a little bit thicker, has a little bit more of like a viscous consistency, whereas the ordinary one is quite thin, I find. So it's always interesting because when they're the same ingredient, it's hard to tell like how different they're gonna be and there's such different price points. But yeah, I do actually much prefer the Indie Lee one. So and now everything should be pretty nicely locked in. And then in the morning is when I would probably reach for the Propolis Serum going with my moisturizer and sunscreen and then that would be it. So I'm making the TikTok baked feta pasta tonight, but I decided to throw a lot more stuff into it. So there's a bunch of broccoli in here. I added a bunch of chicken and now I don't know how this is gonna come out because I feel like there's not enough room, but we're just gonna go with it. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna taste good in the end. Looks good. I ended up taking the broccoli out early. Not a bit of spinach. if it's one of those days where I look as rough as I feel, but I have some exciting international packages that just came in the mail, so I decided I would share with you guys what I got. First package is from YesStyle, and I ordered two new skincare products to try out. This first one came in this box. It's a Hadalabo product. This is my first time really hearing about the product, but it's the UV white gel. SPF 50 plus PA quadruple plus. Apparently it's like a clear like gel moisturizer that just has a ton of SPF in it. Okay, it's not clear. It is actually white. I don't want to like spill the product and I just wanted to try it out. I think it's a purely chemical sunscreen and it shouldn't have any white cast. So I just wanted to try out something new and this is full black me safe. The other product that I got is a new propolis ampule. I'm pretty sure I showed in a previous clip that I just about finished my Coserex one. So this one is by Wish Trend. It's the Polyphenols in Propolis 15% ampule. I decided to try this one out. The nice thing about this one is that it doesn't have arginine in it and so many, especially Asian skincare, seem like they have arginine. And since I am using a squalane oil again, I'm just trying to be conscious about when I mix those two ingredients together. And then lastly from YesStyle, I ordered a pair of trousers. Honestly, I was influenced by 
an Instagram reel that I saw randomly. I feel like the color of the trousers looks a little bit different in her video. Um, I gotta say that the quality of these does not feel very good. I should know this by now, but the quality of most of the clothing on Yes Style is just not the greatest. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but they're just so thin like you can see the light shining through the pants but the color is really cute um i'll probably try them on in a second and then for my other package i did place an order at arquette i talked about the arquette linen pants so much which i'm actually wearing right now and i was just checking the website to see what other colors they had and if they were happened to go on sale i'm not super familiar with how arquette sales usually go but yeah i saw that these linen pants came in a gorgeous kind of like chocolatey taupey brown color and i thought those would be the perfect second pair of these pants to get so i just ended up placing another order from them i do use a shipping forwarder because they don't ship to the us unfortunately i use the same service that i always use it's called forward to me and this time i noticed that the prices in euros on our kit were actually a little bit cheaper than the british british pound value so this time i ordered in euros and had it shipped to the germany warehouse but in the end i think it actually ended up probably being a little bit more expensive because i think there are just more shipping options available in the uk and so those just tend to be a little bit cheaper but anyway the package is here now i'm just not gonna think about how much i paid for shipping Ooh. so here are the pants they actually look quite a bit more purpley in person although they did kind of have this tone um, online i think maybe it was a little bit hard to tell because it was on a darker skinned model but i still really like the color i think it's really unique actually and i love that these are perfect to keep wearing in the fall while it's still warm and i decided to order a couple more t-shirts because i just realized that I'm actually pretty lacking in some nice t-shirts. So I picked up three neutral colors. First up, gotta have the white t-shirt. I ordered all of these in a size small, by the way. This one feels really nice. They're actually so soft. I love the fabric on these. It doesn't look too sheer or anything, so I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with this. I also picked up their like off-white cream color. I actually have a different version of their t-shirt in this color, and I think it's kind of nice. It's like definitely more like of a buttery creamy color but i feel like both of these would still go really well with these brown pants and then i also picked up this brown color and i actually really like this color i think it'll be a really nice darker nude neutral i feel like this color will look so nice with like some white pants or black pants yeah i'm really happy with all these all right i definitely still stand by what i said about the quality of these pants but the fit honestly is actually really really nice i have mine in a size medium and they fit my waist perfectly and the length is also really nice definitely the nice thing about ordering from asian websites is that the proportions are just <laughs> closer to what would actually fit my body visually i think these pants look great but yeah once again just can't really recommend the quality of them in case you're curious about the arquette linen pants I'm pretty sure these are pretty much sold out now. But yeah, I really like the color of these. These are like definitely my favorite kind of luxe lounge pants. Okay, so I don't remember what the last thing I vlogged was. I think it was also an unboxing. And I have another one that I'm about to share with you guys. So sorry for the back to back unboxings, although I personally am a big fan of them. This week has been a little bit rough. My boyfriend went on a trip and he came back under the weather. Luckily, he's feeling a lot better now. And we were pretty sure it wasn't COVID because his friend had the same cough that my boyfriend ended up getting but yeah he just got his test results back and everything is negative so that is a relief and i just wanted to say to everyone be careful out there health is well and i'm just kind of glad to be back to feeling more like myself because even though i wasn't sick this week we were isolating and i was taking care of him and we were just like scared and stressed so i'm really glad that everything ended up working out so far but now i just wanted to show you guys an exciting package that i have merit beauty reached out to me to see if i wanted to try a couple of things and you may or may not know but i've literally been wearing the same makeup for the past three to four months i would say ever since i just started packing up all my stuff and i did a huge declutter um i pretty much have just been using whatever is in my makeup bag but i couldn't say no when merit reached out i love their whole like minimal makeup branding and let me show you the package i was so excited to see that my package did end up coming with this cute little 
pouch that I've been seeing everywhere. I wasn't sure if it was like limited edition or something, but it's just this really pretty kind of like golden mustardy corduroy little kind of pouch like this. And then it's super cute to like wear it out, use it as a bag, a little clutch. And can we just take a moment to appreciate this like color combination? And then let me open this up so we can take a peek at the products. Ooh, so excited. So Merit does have a pretty full line of makeup. I think you could probably do a full face of Merit, but there are a couple of products that didn't really sound like ones that I would personally enjoy the formula of. I'm really particular about certain formulas and I try to stick to Foglacne Safe Base products. So what I did end up picking out are four of their lip oils. They all come in this gorgeous, like kind of like a light denim blue packaging with some gold embossing it's so pretty so i believe these lip oils are one of their most popular products that they have these are the four lip oils that i picked out they actually just released a couple of new shades in their lip oils which are absolutely perfect for fall i'm so excited to wear this one in the shade sangria this one was already an existing color in the line but this is definitely a perfect fall shade and then besides that i had to pick out like the three most nude colors that they offer. They really have such a great color selection in these. I have Marrakesh, which is like more of a peachy pink color. Au Naturel, which is that more peachy nude. And then Taupe is one of the newer colors and it's more of like a nude brown. So we're definitely gonna put one of these on today and I will also do some swatches in a bit. And I just have to say that they really nailed the packaging of these. I love how they feel. I love the like twisty cap and how it kind of snaps closed and they just look like really luxurious little nail polish bottles or something the next product that i picked up was actually one of their brow gels they only had the black color in stock so i went with that one and we are also going to try this one out today i do have my brows filled in really lightly but no brow gel in and take a look at this packaging it's so gorgeous it's literally just like the perfect golden little tube. The wand looks pretty standard and I'm very excited to use this one as well. Packaging is also a little bit weighted which is always nice. I feel like that always gives the product a little bit more of a luxurious feel. And then uh, lastly I picked up two of their like cheek tints. They're called the flush bombs. I picked it up in two colors. I decided to go with terracotta and cheeky. Terracotta is just like such a pretty peachy brown color which is i feel like really unique and then i already have so many peach blushes that i really like so for the other color i decided i wanted to try something with a little bit more of like a berry mauve tone for the fall so i think that, that will also look really pretty okay let me just try some of these products on while we're here i'm gonna put on the brow gel excuse me while i take off my glasses and go blind yeah it's just like a nice ashy color it's kind of hard to do without a mirror okay honestly i should have just grabbed a mirror while i was applying that but so far i mean i think it looks really good definitely very natural made my brows a little bit fluffier had a little bit of color to them and yeah i think that looks really good for blush as much as i feel like i should try out the plummy color i think i want to go for the terracotta one mostly because i do really want to try out the darker lip oil i'm kind of excited for more fall vibes i know these come in these cute little sticks but i personally don't like to apply these right to the face even though the formula of these does seem like really nice and thin and balmy i just like to be more precise so i'm gonna take this brush which i always use to apply my cream blush and i'm just gonna dip into the product so i do already have some bronzer on so hopefully you can kind of see the difference between the two cheeks i know the lighting isn't perfectly even but it does add just like a nice amount of like peachy bronzy warmth to the skin and it definitely applies really easily it's not like it's not pigmented or anything i think this is actually really nice yeah that was super easy and it feels it doesn't feel like tacky on the skin i can kind of feel it but 
it just feels very lightweight and thin but yeah I, I like that a lot i'm definitely really excited to try this shade and then for lips we're just gonna go straight into the lip oil again this one is in the shade sangria Check out that color. It's not patchy at all. Very smooth and lightweight on the lips. Super, super comfortable to wear. I love lip oils and just like more thin lip products like this because it does show your natural lip color underneath and it's so much easier to pull off certain colors. So thank you so much to Merit Beauty. I am in love with my new goodies. Waking up feeling like it's gone away. But it just comes in waves When you ask me if I'm okay I don't have a lot to say Can't tell you something I do not know 